Up next, the growing importance of drones in emergencies. You're watching Global National. A high-tech mission is buzzing over the Bahamas, and a Canadian is at the controls. A drone is being used to map the devastation caused by Hurricane Dorian last month. As Albert de la Tala explains, drones are playing an important role in rebuilding efforts after disasters. You're looking at just some of the devastation left by Hurricane Dorian in the Bahamas. This Canadian drone footage of East Grand Bahama shows the scale of destruction and the years of rebuilding ahead. Using technology in a situation like this is to uh, expedite um, the response, right? Andrew Huang has been in the Bahamas for about a week working with the nonprofit Global Medic. He's mapped more than 2,700 acres of damaged areas in the country so far, information the government will use in its rebuilding efforts. The Category 5 storm made landfall in the Bahamas on September 1st, killing more than 50 people and forcing thousands more from their homes. Global Medic was on the ground within days, working to provide critical needs like food and water. Our real focus on this mission is to do that mapping. Global Medic's Raul Singh says the thousands of detailed photos from the drone mission will help the Bahamian government secure funding to rebuild. Missions like this help that nation prove the extent of their damage, their managers get a better understanding of just how bad it is, so they can figure out their steps in rebuilding. Clear system, Sky Ranger R70 is made in Canada and designed during all four seasons. Those wide range of conditions allow engineers to prepare it for some of the world's toughest situations. The environments that we fly in uh, aren't the sunny day uh, favorable conditions. We must be able to fly anywhere at any time. Industry experts say drones have become an essential part of emergency response and that this is just the beginning. Where we're going with this technology is the transfer of aid and supplies in and out of areas or uh, in some cases, and I don't think this is too far off in, into the future, is being able to airlift somebody right out of the water or right off of a roof. We hope that the information that we provide uh, the government, people can get their homes uh, rebuilt, you know, be by Christmas, right, so that uh, people can, can have somewhere to celebrate Christmas. Albert De La Tala, Global News. And that is Global National for this Sunday. I'm Robin Gill. Tonight, your Canada is Vancouver, where it may be Thanksgiving weekend, but youngsters are already gearing up to trick or treat at the city's annual Halloween parade. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a great night and have a great Thanksgiving.